everybody. I'm going to show you today how I made these really lovely mermaid coasters. I hope you can see them. Um, there is a mermaid tail in the corner, splashing water, there's glitter on the outside, and this is how I finish off the base. I paint silver on the outside and then put a cork mat in. So there's that one, and then there's this one. And I'm debating whether to put another light on. Maybe I'll keep the other light on, it's a bit dark. And so I have prepped three tiles. I've taped the back. I've mixed the resin, wearing my respirator. And I have three colors. Resin is Naked Fusion. And so are the richly pigmented powders. I'm using Ocean, Peacock, and Tropical Sea, but I'm only gonna really use a tiny amount of the Peacock and Tropical Sea. So the, I'm gonna move my respirator out of the way. And then I have my mermaid tails here, three different ones, and alcohol ink for the water splash. The first thing I'm going to do is cover them with the ocean. And before I did anything, I cleaned the tiles with isopropyl alcohol, just to make sure there was no grease or anything on them. And these will have, I'll move these out of the way. Once they've had their um, ocean layer and that has set, I will then sand, sand them and add a clear coat on the top, which also helps secure the mermaid tail in really well. Okay, there I have my basic ocean down and I am going to trickle some dark blue at the top. I'm going to blend this with the heat gun too. And by the way, I um, made sure that the tiles were completely level before, before I started adding the resin. So there we go. I mixed far too much resin. Oh, just on another note, I use a shower curtain from the dollar store and then I always cover that with plastic so that I can just wrap everything up and throw it away. So let's add some tropical sea. Okay, I'm going to use a heat gun and see, see how that gets on. There's my trusty I like to 
do this in stages so I can see if, oh, I'm just laying my heat gun down on a um, oven glove. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the tropical sea. And then just a touch more of the dark blue. Gives it a nice contrast, I think. Okay, my heat gun again. And actually, where is my original colour? Because that has blown off some of the blue. From that side. So I think I probably will end up putting glitter on the edge. Okay, now for the mermaids. And I got these mermaid tails off Amazon and I will leave a link. And they were actually key rings. And I just unscrewed them from their key ring. So what I might have to do is wait till this is stickier. I'm trying to remember how I did this before. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna put the waves on now so you can see the waves, but I think what I'm going to do is wait about four hours and then come back in and stand the mermaid tails on them because I'm worried that they might just slip over right now. So this is alcohol ink. Just put it around just for a splash. So cute. All right, so we will come back when it is time to put the mermaids in. Okay, they have hopefully sticky enough to take the little mermaid tails. Oh yeah, that'll be fine. They're not going to fall over. And the blue one. So cute. I'm going to do one little blast of my heat gun. Oh, 
and we will come back tomorrow and finish them off. I wanted to, before I sand them, I wanted you to see how pretty the effects are. I actually prefer these to the ones with the ink. I mean, they're both pretty. So I have been asked in the past, can I see you sand? I mean, it's pretty basic. I'm not sanding very much, just very lightly. And the reason I do this is it gives the last coat of resin, which will just be a clear coat, a good tooth which means it just sticks on smoothly. So that's that one. And once I've finished this, I'm gonna spray it down with some alcohol. The resin's mixed and what I decided to do on these, instead of glitter, I put um, silver foil around and I did that outside rather than inside because it gets everywhere. But I will leave a link below this video to um, a, a video where I show you actually how to do some foiling if you're interested. So now I'm just going to cover this with clear resin and we will be done. And I'm gonna make sure the sides are covered because I want the foil covered. And that funny noise in the background is my dog snoring. Okay, just take a popsicle stick, make sure it goes around the back of the tail. I don't know if you can hear her snoring, it's quite funny. And look at this one. And this one. And I'm gonna put a glove on so that I can go around the edges with my finger to make sure it's all covered. And of course, my hand's sticky and I can't get the glove on, but I've got a finger in. That'll do. Right. So make sure all the edges are covered. Okay. And lastly, the last thing to do is pop the bubbles with the torch. So we will come back in the morning and take the backing off and they will be finished. So I'm shooting from a slightly different angle today because I think you can see better. So as I was saying, what I did with these was um, instead of putting glitter around the edges, like I did with the other ones, which are beautiful, I decided to put gold foil. So now I'm going to take backing off, and I'll probably still have to do some tidying up, because the resin little nobules stick. Let's see. Oh, that's coming off quite well. So, 
Actually, the backing's coming off quite well. So I'm going to go and take off all this backing and then when I've done that, I'll come back and show you the finished results. Hi there. I wanted to show you the finished results. Absolutely gorgeous. I finished the bottom and I hope you can see all the details. This my um, pigment powder from Naked Fusion really makes the resin look like water. Gorgeous. So those will be on my Etsy store as a set of three. And these, and the silver foil came out really beautiful, by the way. Worked really, really lovely. And then these will be sold as a set of two. These are the ones with the ink and the glitter. So those will also be on my Etsy store. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Bye.